Hey guys, I got a video for you guys. I'm super, super excited because I've been working on my nail room. So as soon as I get it finished and get it kind of dolled up now, mine no matter, it has to be painted in here regardless. It used to be my son's room. Well, he has recently moved out, which is so sad. But anyways, I decided to use his room. And I made me a nail room, made me a nail room. Anyways, I love my baby boy, don't get me wrong. But um, it, he turned 18 and he's ready to experience his whole life. So I took advantage of his room. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, anyways, I'm taking off this dip powder set that I've had on. I have scuffed them up so bad due to doing a lot of nail videos and filing. So I'm going to take these off. I'm going to be using my Net Plus Drill. Um, I'm just going to use this little sanding band at first to take the top layer off, but I'm going to have to mute this part because you all know my fan is, it's not really loud. It just sounds louder on camera. So anyways, let's get to it. This umbrella bit is one of the best drill bits I have ever had. I'm sorry, this is the uh, volcano bit. This is the medium grit. Um, I got this from AliExpress. Guys, this, this stuff is amazing. Or this drill is amazing. Sorry about that. Um, it literally shaves like butter. It's it goes through it so so easy but now if, if when you're filing your dip many off you can you can do this with a hand file you don't have to have a drill bit but if you do decide to do it with a hand file I would advise you to just buff off the top coat and then go ahead and do the process don't don't set and try to file it all the way down with a hand file you can but it's gonna take you a minute but yeah if you've got a drill Get you one of these drill bits it's super super amazing this is the volcano bit
guys. So once you once you get your nails filed down as thin as you want them, which now the thinner they are, the quicker they are going to soak off. So I love this little dampen dish. I will link this little dish down below for you guys because these are great for dip powders. Um, the container on the bottom, actually, um, I usually use the microwave to heat mine up for like 30 seconds to a minute. And what it does is this water in the bottom and steam causes the acetone that you're putting in it to get warm and hot. So that way it soaks off the dip powder faster. But these things are so handy and so easy to clean. Like literally you just wipe it off and wash it out with warm soapy water and you're done. But you're just going to fill it up right about there. And you just take your hand and you just hold it in it like this. Now depending on how thin you have it, like I said, remember as thin as you can get it, thinner it is, the better it is to soak off. And so, yeah, so now it does take a little bit. It's not going to be like two minutes and it's soaked off. So a good um, five, ten minutes and you'll take a paper towel, wipe off the gooey residue, and then you'll take a file and kind of file the rest of it off because it's not, I mean, you can keep soaking it till it's all off, but sometimes you may have to take a file and file a little bit for the acetone to get, to penetrate the um, uh, um, dip powder. So yeah, so let's soak these off and I will be right back. All right, so once you soak for a while, you're gonna pull your hand up. As you can see, most of it's gone. You're just gonna take a paper towel and you're just gonna wipe it off of your nails. Get as much off as you possibly can. Now this is gonna dry your hands, so make sure that you wash your hands really good when you're done and apply lotion or cuticle oil or whatever it may be that you wanna to apply to your nails. But um, I like to apply a little bit of um, lotion to mine. So I'm just trying to pull this off. Cause I had it super, super thin. I'm just gonna dunk it one more time. I'm just going to make sure that I... So once you do that, you need to wash them up and apply your lotion and stuff, and you're done. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to show you how I remove my dip powder. And I like to use the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair for my hands. Um, really, really good for, you know, um, if you got really dry hands, this is really good. So, all right, guys. I hope y'all like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And bye, guys.